Hey guys, welcome back to the Infomon Shop Beer Reviews, continuing with the Big Bear season. Today is actually a really, really hot day out. It's uh, 24 degrees Celsius, which is almost summer-like. And even though it's still, you know, the end of March, um, I guess it's nice to have this kind of weather anyhow. So today I really felt like a nice hoppy beer, but I still wanted it to, to be a big beer for the purposes of this uh, beer review season I guess. So I decided to go with a beer I just bought in Albany. This is the resin from the Six Point Brewery out of Brooklyn, New York and this is the new release. It's supposed to be super hoppy at uh, 103 IBUs. It's 9.1% ABV. It's a nice interesting kind of Red Bull shaped can. It's still 12 ounces though. Yeah. I'm always open minded towards these uh, craft brews in the can I guess and uh, Six Point is a brewery that um, cans an entire line of beers. I wanted to try their Bengali Tiger as well, but I couldn't find that. This was about $3 for a single, pretty good deal, not, not too shabby. So let's see what this interesting can double OPA is all about. Alright, so I'll be using my big, uh, nice Duval glass. Let's crack it open. Okay, so it's a really lovely colour. I call it Deep Copper. So it's similar to an ESB or even uh, some some types of winter warmer. Nice head there. Nice ruby. Oh, I'm really, I'm really happy I'm finally trying a double IPA fresh because you know sometimes I bring beers from the United States and then just hold on to them for a while and then the hoppiness kind of fades away. In this case it's a super massive, but mostly tropical fruitiness I'm getting from the hops. But also quite quite heavy on the pine and the resinous qualities in the aroma. Definitely a solid malt backbone there, hints of caramel. Okay, so I'm really excited. Let's try this resin. What a great hoppy sensation in the mouth. This is really fresh, that's good. Really bitter indeed. Really strong, pungent hoppiness up front. But all the while, the, the sweetness kind of picks it up from there and then doesn't let you, it doesn't let your palate dry out, it doesn't let your mouth dry out. Adds a nice caramel layer on it. Getting mango, papaya, passion fruit, pine. Still a bit of grapefruit. What a nice blend of flavors. Medium body to it. Fairly um, sticky and resinous. Just like the brewers intended, this is a really drinkable beer. And it's a nine percent beer. It's a big one. But it's certainly um, not tasting like alcohol and it's not super dry to the point where, you know, it's really hard to swallow. I guess you've got to have a certain mindset before you drink this one. You've got to be ready for a big hoppy beer. And I've grown to really appreciate double IPAs even more than um, single IPAs. Really well balanced between the hops and the malts. At the back I'm getting a bit of a brandiness as well, caramel. All in all, this is really good so far. And it's great that it comes in these handy, uh, slim shaped cans. Hopefully this will be a regular beer from Six Points. I can have this again in the future and um, hopefully I'll try more beers from this brewery as well. I'll be back in a few moments with the final words. Alright, so this beer has definitely sparked my interest for this brewery as a whole, even though I was really kind of curious to try at least a couple of beers from this brewery. Hopefully I will in the future. Really solid beer. In my opinion, it achieves every single goal the brewers. I mean, it's very, very sticky and resinous and uh, piney. All the while, it's quite sweet as well. It's not too boozy. I mean, after a while, I'm beginning to taste a bit, just a slight hint of alcohol, but it's not, still doesn't taste like a 9% beer though. So it's really not a problem at all. Really good treat for hop heads. Um, I wouldn't say it's the best double IPA out there. I haven't had that many to begin with, and uh, you know, there are probably other better choices. But I mean, for for for, for the goals that the brewers had set for themselves, I think uh, this this is a top job pretty much. It's just a beer for the people who like the resinous qualities of hops and the really kind of sticky, uh, piney texture, rather than just straight up grapefruit or something. Tropical fruit, resin, grapefruit, everything's there and um, it's not one dimensional, it still you know, has a nice support from the malts. So I'm going to give this a nice solid 
9 out of 10. I don't think it's a perfect double IPA, but I think it's one of the best ones I've had so far, and it's a really solid one. Uh, I couldn't find anything wrong with it. The bitterness didn't bother me. Um, yeah, it's just a good beer. So, yeah, 9 out of 10 for resin from 6 Point Ales. I think um, I'm going to give this one a good recommendation. If you still haven't found this or if you haven't tried it, uh, give it a go. It's a new release. Um, I've seen this in pretty much every single beer store I went to in New York City normally, so it's pretty well distributed, at least in that neck of the woods. Okay, guys, that's all I've got to say for this time around. Uh, check out my other reviews. Add me on Facebook, search for DMs Montreal Beer Reviews, and uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers, stick to good beer.